So when we were doing the Vagabond and, and Stefan de Poe was doing, we, we, we felt like, again, if we were doing this, it was about raising the bar. So it wasn't just about experiencing the Vagabond in the 50s and 60s from the outside, but bringing it into the rooms, right? This full on experience, um, which would again, been an elevated experience versus, you know, back in the day. And so um, a lot of the furniture were inspirations, you know, the pulse and lamps and so forth. But, you know, we were talking about, you know, the designer was saying, well, well, we'll do, we'll do a print and we'll do a wallpaper and stuff. And I was like, you know, you know, I just felt like it just wasn't feeling nice. Again, I said, I think this is an opportunity. There's an, a real art opportunity here. And again, trying to be, stay true to the sort of this, you know, 50s, 60s throwback. And I remember seeing, you know, in a magazine or a picture, a picture of his work on the wall. It probably a, it was probably a interior design or something or a fashion magazine. And I remembered it and uh, the architect remembered it. And so the, they, um, we found an image and I said, you know, this is, this is what we need. This is the inspiration. And I said, but I don't want a print. I want it, I want it drawn um, because then that makes it original. And, um, and it's different, right? It was a different scale. It was different, all this. So um, he had a very good local artist that, um, and uh, so he stenciled, he created his own stencils and did it in Sharpie pen, black Sharpie pen. It took him three months to do the 45 rooms. And, um, you know, he'd do it at night and turn his music on. I mean, and then when he was done, he, um, he put like a little, like a shellac on it or something, some sort of a cover so that it would, so that it would hold and wouldn't fit. And it really, it made, you know, made the room. I mean, it just, it just made it pop as opposed to going out and buying some art or a print or doing, let's say what would normally have been the obvious. And um, it, it, there's a, that's the fun part of the story. The unfun part of the story is, is that, uh, and, and, and probably thankfully to the success of the Vagabond and the generosity of all the editorials and everything, um, we, you know, one of the, the estate contacted us and, and threatened to sue us for the image. And I was like, well, what do you mean? I mean, these were hand-drawn art pieces, you know, certainly inspired by, which we all are, um, in art and food, and, you know, everything. Um, and, but obviously we weren't gonna fight it. You know, it's like, yeah, yes, we were inspired by, you know, we certainly weren't pretending that it wasn't an, the inspiration. And, um, and so we had to take, so they wanted us to remove it from the website and take all the images down. And we, um, we, we swapped, we brought the same artist back and he, you should come and see it or go on the website. I think he did, a, I think he was very clever. I, I brought the artist in and I said, what do you want to do? And he says, I have an idea. And he converted these boxes into luggage. So this idea of travel. So it's still very, you know, very strong geometric shapes, which is, I think, was the intent of this. You know, remember back then, everything was boxes and boomerangs and triangles, and you know, I mean, nobody owns a box, right? You know, so I mean, so it's like I was, uh, and I think it's too bad because we were playing homage. You know, I thought it was, you know, could have been a seen as a positive opportunity, um, as opposed to, you know, something that was. I don't know. I think it was an effort to, to honestly, I think it was an effort for, uh, they wanted us to negotiate, you know, to, to pay something. I was like, you know, that's okay. We, we thought we were doing a good thing. And if you're not, if you're not in support of that, no problem. We'll bring the artists in and we'll change it. And we did even, even the Vagabond name, like once the Vagabond was out there and everything, you know, we get calls from other people, well, you know, do you own the rights to the name, rights to the name? Well, the good news about historic preservation, it's the property owns the name. You can't, you can't say that, you know, I can't trade Vagabond and, you know, um, and they can't tell me I can't use it. So um, I always, I always say I, I paid, you know, I, when I bought the property, because the, the building was up for demolition, I said, it, you know, it was the, the mermaid at the bottom of the pool and, and the, and the name, <laughs> that's what I bought. Um, and so, you know, it, it gets tricky. I mean, I, I, you know, I have so much respect for artists and what they do. And I think, um, so I, you know, you don't want to, you know, it's very, you want to be very careful about that. But um, yeah, so when you go back to Vagabond, unfortunately, it will be different, but I think you would appreciate, um, let's say the problem solved. 